before we begin reading the Aeneid, I wanted to give a very, very, very brief overview of um, a few things I think you should know going into it. Um, first of all, its author, Virgil, um, is going to be somebody you're going to hear a lot about, not just this year, but next year Virgil's going to play a very important role in medieval Europe. Um, Virgil um, is a poet. Um, he lived in rural Italy, um, and his primary poetry for much of his life um, was about the rural lifestyle and kind of those rural ideals, um, you know, the, the good Roman farmer um, and, and the nobility of that life. And that's the, the lifestyle that kind of Virgil wanted to, um, to kind of promote through his work. And he lived at a pretty tumultuous time. He was probably 25, around 25, when um, Julius Caesar was killed. So he lived most of his life in that period of uh, civil war, where um, there were military leaders, there was back and forth. The, the After the death of Caesar, you have the civil wars. Um, and it's, it's a pretty crazy... Um, you know, time to be alive. So you can imagine wanting to promote the peace of the farm life and back home. And that's, and that's what he was about. Well, when Augustus came to power, um, there was this kind of outcrying of, um, from a lot of the poets and a lot of the writers of time that, that Augustus here was putting an end to all that time of turmoil and strife and um, Augustus himself liked to promote that idea that he was um, kind of ending the the tumultuous period. He was um, the ideal Roman. You can see here from the slide, um, you know, uh, with you know uh, promoting things like duty, um, which we will see in um, the Aeneid are so important to the ideal Roman, um, and. And he wanted this image of himself to be portrayed, um, you know, through art and writing. Um, he wanted this promoted throughout the entire empire. Um, he had a cultural um, minister um, by the name of Mycenaeus or Mecenas. Um, and uh, Mecenas uh, found poets um, and kind of helped as a patron, bring them along. And one of the poets that he found was this, was this um, rural poet named Virgil. And Virgil, like many others, started to write things that would promote this idea of Augustus as this great Roman. And one of the pieces he produced um, is this famous epic, the Aeneid. Um, so as you're reading, you should be thinking about that. How much of this is really promoting ideals that Augustus would want to be promoted. And you might find that there are some things in there that Augustus might not have liked, and I want to see if we can find some of those too. Um, but as, as you go through, see if you can find those themes. And at the same time, let's hearken back to the other epic poems we've read this year, the Iliad and the Odyssey of Homer. Look at the style of, uh, of Virgil. How is it similar to Homer? What's different about it? How is um, Aeneas similar to the great heroes Odysseus and Achilles? And in what ways are, is, are he different? Because I think you're going to find that he is um, very different in many ways. Um, anyhow, I think this is just an important point to know at the outset. Um, I want you to understand the context of this. This is written at the beginnings of the empire. We are now at a point where Rome needs to come together peacefully and celebrate this man who has made this all possible, and that is Augustus. And I want you to figure out if this poem does a good job of doing that. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. Thank you.